Hello bakers and welcome back to Bradley's Baking Bible. Now today I'm back with another cookbook review, this time of Jar Food by Dominique Eloise Alexander. Now Dom's actually one of my friends from university and Jar Food is her first cookbook. She's already worked with some incredible food brands such as HelloFresh and Tastemade, but it's really exciting to see her get her own book that lets her recipe shine through. Jar Food is a fun twist for food on the go providing a wide range of healthy recipes that can be whipped up in no time and taken with you in convenient jar-sized portions. Now I will admit that although I'm good at making lunch and dinner, I do occasionally miss breakfast. And I understand that's not healthy, so I am getting better at it, but the convenience of food on the go that Jar Food promotes really does work for me. Jar Food features some great breakfast ideas that are simple to prep the night before and can be taken with you when you're in a rush the next morning. I also love the breadth of recipes in this book, and it's not just your typical on-the-go snacks. There's some really unique recipes, such as a burrito jar, that you won't be able to resist trying. But of course, it wouldn't be a baking bible review without taking one of the recipes for a spin. So I've chosen these Lady Grey Panna Cottas. For the panna cottas, you'll need to soak three gelatin leaves in cold water for five minutes until they bloom. In the meantime, heat 250 millilitres of milk 250 millilitres of double cream in a saucepan over a low heat. Add in two Lady Grey tea bags and the zest of a lemon and leave to simmer for two minutes before removing from the heat. Squeeze out the excess water from your gelatin and add into the cream, stirring until dissolved. You can then remove the tea bags. Pour the mix into four jars or glasses if you're cheating and pop them in the fridge to set for four to six hours. I finished mine with a spoonful of pomegranate seeds and some mint. All in all, Jar Food is a great cookbook, putting the fun back into recipes for our modern, busy generation. It's full of inventive ideas, beautiful pictures and easy to follow recipes. I hope you enjoyed this review of Jar Food. If you want to grab yourself a copy, I'll leave a link down below for the Amazon page where you can grab yourself one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you next time.